once again, people. So, um, we're doing yet another Quake level tonight because I can't seem to get enough of these. And, like I said, we're trying to get through a bunch of these because we have a bunch of shovelware levels to kind of get through. And it get to be nice to get to sort of new stuff. So basically, you have to fly through all these um, random Quake levels that really don't serve much of a purpose besides being Deathmatch levels. So we can check out some new things, finally. So, um, yeah, next on the agenda would be Chris's Test Map. Uh, made by Chris Debodu. Also known as Bort on FNET. So this is basically his first attempt at a Quake level. Yes. I am too lazy to use more than five textures. That's still a lot better than Q2. Um, so basically he credits id Software for Quake, but also Dalius for making tele -ads, which I used to figure out how to do this. Um, and also Carmack for releasing the BSP stuff. So anyway, um, this is basically also known as Q Chunks, um, according to the readme file. And... It's basically made for deathmatch, two to eight players. It, it, you can play in single player, but of course it really doesn't have anything to do there. Um, so it basically took about eight hours over a period of three days to make. Um, and he basically used MS-DOS Edit. So yeah, basically what like, Dalius has kind of been using. And basically the just a headset or whatnot. Actually, not really a headset. They're more of like a no, like notepad. Um... If you find any bugs, mail me and I'll try and fix them. Um, he probably put it up on FTP CD-ROM and stuff like that. And basically, anyone who wants an IRC, he'll give it out to. So, alright, that, that's basically the level in a nutshell. There's really not much to these. It's yet another deathmatch level that is kind of there. You know, we kind of just want to check it out because it's yet another forgettable deathmatch level. <laughs> um, as you can see, definitely plenty of levels just crammed in here. And so we, we want to check this one out. Yeah, I know it sounds really pointless, but um, here we are. On um, what looks like a lava bots. Yeah, it reminds you a lot of lava bots. And here is the Thunderbolt. If you jump off without dying due to lava bots, now we're in a arena type area. Can pick up some armor. Now we'll not die as easily. We fall in the lava. Ooh, how cover the super nail gun? Convenient. How have I missed the super nail gun? What's the little tiny outcomes? Double barreled shotgun. Okay. Lots of teleporters everywhere here, people. Lots of random little teleporters. And of course we have this, which is basically a water elevator up to the second floor. So you can basically use this. Ooh, rocket launcher right here. Okay, that was convenient. I just swam right into a rocket launcher without even realizing it. That, that, that's always good. Not every day that happens, people. Not every day you just randomly swim right into a rocket launcher and pick it up. But um, yeah, you can come up here, fight from the second floor. It's an interesting platform up there. How do you get there? I assume using one of these teleporters. But yeah, I have a grenade launcher. Bunch more ammo that we really don't need. This is raised for some reason, interesting enough. All these raised little areas. These are probably spawn point locations. People spawn up here and try and murder each other. As you see, all different types of guns. There's every gun in the map. And really, the only mystery remaining is how to get to that. Let's see here, what does this lead to? Well, this leads right back up to this little platform here, which is totally pointless to me. How about this one? Quad damage! Magnum upgrade! So you see, that's basically what we were kind of looking for to begin with. So that teleporter there, the one that's kind of flat, basically leads you straight to... Um, the quad damage on that little platform up there. Anyway, now if we drop into the lava, we will die. But as you see, can easily get out. Easy enough. Then you have some health over here. We won't die. And there we are. That That's pretty much the level. Chris's test map, everybody. Not even really what sounds like an official deathmatch level. It sounds like just something he kind of put together and threw on the internet for people to test out. And yet now it's immortalized in the Aftershock 
pack for all time. Because, you know, Aftershock shoved a bunch of levels in here for some reason. You know, historical value, I guess. You know, I mean, this is now immortalized. This is a thing that will never go away because it was put on a CD. And, well, that CD's now been archived. I mean, I guess if everybody forgot the CD exists and, it, like, the copies of the CD got destroyed and every way to ever access it got destroyed, I guess there we go, but... I don't know, I imagine someone somewhere would archive this. I would hope so. It would really stink if, like, we lost the ability to ever play stuff like Aftershock again. Even if they're usually rather pointless, they kind of have their historical charm to them, so... It is kind of a piece of quick history to check all these out, to see these um, rare artifacts, if you will, from 1996, even if they are pointless deathmatch levels. Anyway, thank you all for watching, people. It's been an adventure, and I shall see you all, hopefully in something more substantial, but probably not, based on the current route we're doing. See you all next time.